What's up everybody? It's Matt here with Tanks Lawn Maintenance. It is 7:18 a.m. Thursday, June the 27th, 2024, the year of our Lord. And I am it out to my first one. I'm rocking solo today. Only got six on the list. And um <clears throat> I'm glad that my co-worker had internship today and not yesterday or tomorrow. Because uh it's only supposed to be 93 today. And it was <laughs> it was 103 yesterday. And tomorrow I've got a monster landscaping project coming up, some landscape maintenance. It's probably gonna take us eight or nine hours to do but um yeah rocking solo today and um <clears throat> guys i don't know about where y'all are but here man it's been a different kind of hot here different kind of hot man it's, it's been ridiculous uh for about the past week and a half straight it's been over 100 degrees today's only supposed to the high is only supposed to be 93 there's some rain moving in this afternoon it's 40 percent chance of rain tomorrow and uh which I don't care if it's raining tomorrow or not. We're getting everything done. Because uh, next Thursday and Friday, we're going to be off. And the Friday after that, we're going out of town. My wife and I are going on a cruise for our anniversary. And we're leaving out Thursday night. So we're trying to keep everything on schedule. Or we're just going to bear through it. But it's been hot, man. It, it's been really hot. <laughs> I mean, my wife and I went for a golf cart ride, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, and it was just miserable. You know, we go on a golf cart ride just about every evening. We didn't yesterday, but the day before yesterday we went, and we always take the windshield down on the front of the golf cart. That way the breeze can hit us. Man, it was just miserable. It was a hot breeze. It, I mean, it was just miserable. We It lasted for about 15 or 20 minutes, and we said, screw this. We turned around and went back to the house. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all make sure y'all are staying hydrated, man. I've got a gallon of water in my passenger floorboard over there, and then I've got 32 ounces of liquid IV in the passenger seat. And I've also got a baggie with two pickles in it. But... Y'all make sure y'all are doing what y'all got to do to stay hydrated. I, I recommend staying away from Gatorade and Powerade. If you're going to drink something like that, drink something like Gator Gator Light or Pedialyte, something like that. Something that has a lot of electrolytes in it. That's going to replenish your body. Something that's got some salt. And uh, try to stay away from caffeine, man, because it's really not good for you. But, yeah, it's been been wild it really has but also let's talk about yards for a second man around here you know the newer the newer side of columbia county the kind of newer developed i'm gonna say within the past 20 years every one of these properties that's been developed around here in the past 20 years has irrigation and the stuff that's been developed inside of hoas you know you know you got your you got your houses in rural areas they a lot of those don't have irrigation but for the most part everything on the north side of columbia county or i'm sorry the east side of columbia county has uh has irrigation your stuff on the south side and the west side of columbia county is non-irrigated some of your homes that are anywhere from 50 to 80 years old <laughs> And that's what I have today. And uh, a lot of times what you'll experience when it's like that, you know, when it gets above, when it gets above about 97 or 98, people that don't have irrigation, their stuff will burn up. You know, Bermuda lawn is extremely drought tolerant, but when we're in a drought, man, a two week drought, and it's anywhere from 95 to 100 degrees, you know, even Bermuda lawns, man, they, they're starving for water, but and what happens is those lawns, they turn brown. I mean, it almost looks like it's dormant. And it's not really doing a whole lot. And, it, and the yard just gets crispy. And if you put a mower on it, it doesn't necessarily damage the turf. But you'll have highs and lows in the yard where you're breaking the grass blades when you're driving on it. 
instead of cutting it, you know, you're not cutting it all at the same height, you're just kind of breaking it. And and it looks trashy, it looks it looks crappy. And a lot of people, what they'll do is when their lawn gets like that, when it turns brown and, and burn up looking like that, they'll, they'll reach out to you and ask you if they can skip service. Well, to avoid that, I have year-round contracts. These people pay me a certain amount every month and I give them a certain amount of services depending on what they want, how many times they, you know, the frequency of mowing, things like that determines their monthly payment. And what that does is it, it keeps money coming in in the wintertime. It keeps the lights on. It pays for all your bills and everything. And it also keeps keeps you from not getting paid from missing keeps you from missing out on revenue when the uh when the grass is burned up in the summer and some people some people do say do i get a discount on my monthly bill and the answer to that is no you know you're paying for your loan to be pristine a low uh, you know a certain height within a certain height every every two weeks or every week whatever it, whatever it is and it's not my fault that it's the heat keeping it that height, not my mower. So, the answer to that question is no, you don't get a discount. It, it stays the same regardless. And, um, so yeah, I mean, it, it saves you a little bit of money. It actually keeps you from losing revenue. But, I do take customers on that want to be pay per service. But, when it's paid for service, I charge them a extremely premium rate. You know, I told y'all I start out at $70 to mow a yard. Well, when it's a customer that's paid for service, I start at 75 and most of them are paying 80 per service just for lawn mowing. And um, now every area is different. Your area may be, is probably different than mine. I mean, this is a, typically this is kind of a high end area that I live in and that I'm servicing. Columbia County, Georgia, and most of the people out here do not care how much it costs. They just want it done and they want it to look good. So I can I can charge those rates around here. But and what that does when you're charging a premium rate, just say your hourly rate is $70 an hour. It don't take you but 30 30 minutes to get it done when you're charging 75, 80 bucks to mow a 20 or 30 minute long you're making up for the times that you're missing out on those paper service lawns because their lawn isn't irrigated. So, there's ways to combat that. But, what do you guys do when when it when it reaches 100 degrees like this and the lawns are burned up? Do y'all do y'all just sit at home? Do y'all do y'all charge a premium rate? I know a guy that actually charges what's called summer rates. His rate changes in the summertime than what it does in the spring and the fall. But do y'all charge differently in the summer than you do any other time of the year? Do you just stay home when the lawns are burnt up? Do you do you try to go out and find find something to do, whether it be other services or whatever? Or do you do you charge monthly year round for a certain amount of services and a certain type of service? Just curious what everybody else is doing, man. I'm always open to suggestions. And uh, what you're doing may benefit me. So share your information. But look here, I've got six on the list today. And I am not planning on getting in no rush. I'm going to take it nice and slow. I'm going to take breaks. And it says it's supposed to be 93 today. We shall see. I'll probably be done around 3 o'clock. I could typically get these this route done by 12, 12:30, but I'm probably going to be done around three o'clock because I'm not going to I'm not going to overdo it. And I'm gonna get home and get some rest, man. I got a big job coming up tomorrow. But look here, man, we're approaching the end of the week, and I hope y'all kill it, man. I hope y'all do. I hope y'all finish strong this week. And all you weekend warriors, man, I hope y'all get out there starting tomorrow and grow, grow, grow. Well, look, man, hope y'all have an amazing weekend. Hope y'all are prosperous. Hope y'all are safe. And I hope y'all stay hydrated. But until the next one, y'all keep cutting that grass and keep making that money. All right, y'all. Bye.